It's Wednesday the 17th of August, I'm Tom Gregan. A man has been seriously injured after being hit by a car near the Snipe Retail Park in Ashton. It's happened at the junction of Snipe Way and Manchester Road, close to the McDonald's at half past eight yesterday evening. The man was struck by a BMW and was taken to hospital with serious injuries. He was kept in hospital overnight while he received treatments. No arrests have so far been made and inquiries are ongoing. Police are appealing for witnesses after the attempted abduction of two teenage girls in Mottram. At around 1am on Monday the 15th of August, two 15 year old girls were sat on a bench at the junction of Batmore and Glossopmore when they were approached by three men in a silver Vauxhall Astra. One of the men spoke briefly with the girls before they became scared and ran off, hiding in a nearby ginnel. The men then began to look for the girls with one of them blocking the bottom ginnel exit. The girls managed to run past the man when he tried to grab one of them and after their escape the men drove off in the direction of Glossop. A full description of the men along with further details can be found at our website insidetameside.com. Tesco Glossop's fundraising champion is counting down the days before she starts climbing Africa's highest mountain. Geraldine Barwell is walking 70,000 kilometres up Mount Kilimanjaro in just a few weeks time in aid of Diabetes UK and the British Heart Foundation. Last weekend she and her colleagues walked the same distance on a step box and cross trainer to raise over £350. Combined with her other fundraising efforts she has now made £1,744 for Tesco's charity partnership. And finally the weather, it's another warm day today with the sun shining and temperatures reaching as high as 22 degrees and it's with the same again tomorrow but make the most of it because that's the last bit of sun we'll see for the rest of the week. That's all for today, for all your latest local news and sport visit InsideTameSide.com or head to the Tameside Reporter and Glossop Chronicle Facebook pages.